uh, this video is just an extension of the last video because um, I forgot to actually go through the rest of the uh, customization options that we have here so from the last one which is the background even though I show you how to actually um, do the background color but you can choose an image if you have a uh, an image on your computer you want to use you can uh, choose that one here uh, if you have an image you want to use as a background you can use that one or you can still use uh, a color so that's that option we also have the option for the for the header if you want to change the header then uh, what you do is uh, let's wait for it to load you can also choose a file from your computer the one that is already saved on your computer and uh, it's recommended that you use image that is 1000 by 288 pixels so that uh, the layout is going to be perfect uh, or you can choose uh, any of these uh, edit that we've uh, chosen so uh, you can choose any one of them or you can just uh, select random then it's going to um, pick anyone at random so I suggest you create your own image in one of those image uh, um, you know, photo editor and then use it um, and then upload you can use this button to upload one if you don't already have have it in on in inside the WordPress uh, or you can remove the uh, edit image completely so you don't have uh, uh, any so let me show you so if we click on remove edit image so and then uh, we go to the website we will not have any header image as you can see now we don't have any header image so that one is uh, another way for you to do it so let's just select one and uh, we've selected one you can show other text with your image or you can just show image alone you can restore the original header text the one that came by default so let's save changes so that we can have our header image back so let's refresh and we have our header image back so uh, these are a few um, uh, options that you can make let's let me see the last uh, the theme options let's see oh yeah so this is another options that we have right now we have a black text over a white background but you can also do the opposite and then you can modify the link color so right now the link color is orange so we've selected to have a black uh, a white text on black background and uh, we have a uh, uh, link color to be arranged and then currently we have our content on the left so let's choose our content to be on the right or we can actually disable this sidebar altogether so uh, let's save changes and uh, visit our website to see the changes we've made these are just some of the basic uh, customization that you can make without and uh, as you can see it's not really pretty but uh, you get the idea so you can uh, you can mess around with this and uh, you can create something beautiful out of it so if we can actually change our background now to be white so let's change background color to be white so background color white is uh, six f's five six so save changes and uh, when we refresh it will look uh, a little bit better so yeah this is our website now and uh, so these are some of the uh, options I want to show you um, the other options that are here the widgets and the menu they, re uh, they require separate videos to actually talk about this too so and I will be doing those videos in the future so um, I hope uh, you are uh, convinced that uh, this theme that is installed by default is actually powerful you can modify it to however you want it without having to download another one so I'll see you in the next video thank you